The video clip that you're about to watch takes place on Iowa State University's Ames, Iowa campus. It's a biomass recovery project harvesting some poplar trees in a field that will next year be planted to corn. We're looking at the efficiencies of the removal as well as the biomass yield. Here Lucas Monson, ISU senior in forestry, is maneuvering the Caterpillar 262C with the Terminator tree shear into the poplar plantation. He's hooking on to a poplar tree that's about 8 inches in diameter. He's now shearing it off. The cycle takes about 10 seconds. Lucas will back the machine and he is currently culling this tree. This tree is not a research tree. It doesn't have the orange marking on it. Putting it into a pile to facilitate chipping. We've raised the tree shear right now so you can see what is going to happen. The shear is now closing on the tree. It will force it apart and the tree is now severed. Lucas will remove it, take it to the pile. We return to cut the stump off. Watch as the sap is forced out of the stump. Lucas is now maneuvering onto a large tree. This is one of our research trees. The grapple is closed. This machine runs tracks and there's very little soil compaction. It's very stable. It allows us to take these larger trees down, which would normally take a person with a saw and another tractor to, to move the trees. This entire project took us about eight hours to complete. It would have taken three weeks if we were to do this by hand. Here we show the ultimate control on the descent of that tree. It allows us to save the canopy and the structure of those branches and to set that down with minimal disturbance to the tree or to the surrounding. It's also safe if you have students working in and around the material. Here's a, the ends of two trees that were sheared off. You can see the two shears meet in the middle and that the last few centimeters are actually broken. We see now a, a stump that has been sheared off. It's now easily accessible for herbicide. You also can run over it, so there will be very Only little damage to any equipment. Yeah. And finally, here are the trees laid out uh, that will be measured as part of the biomass recovery study. 